trying to find a niche uh, for continuing artistic success is very challenging, but Alison Lawther from Timbermell Studios in Wollongong, Australia, um, has achieved that. She's climbed the hill to probably building um, awareness and recognition through participation in um, art fairs uh, uh, such as the Saatchi, the other art fair uh, stage in Sydney recently. Um, some of the uh, learnings that we're going to discover about um, building a, an artistic practice um, are just uh, mirrored beautifully in, in the work that Alison's done so far. So your works just stand out. Thank you. And um, um, I'm wondering where that all comes from. Where does, it, where does the style and the technique come from? I started out just playing with palette lines and the paint. Um, not having done this before, working with this medium, uh, it was all about experimentation. Okay. Um, and in the different uh, genres that I do with the florals, it's a far more free and... and Your work is I'm, very emotive. It, it, it is, it and is, it's yeah. become even more so. The more that I'm doing it, the more that I'm practicing and learning, the, and the more, especially with my girls, with the portraits, it, it, I, it's about well, what's, what's behind her, you yeah. know? And, and I love doing that, and the, the, the textures coming out, the, the detail of the girls is becoming far more honed in and far more um, realistic. Um, this uh, technique of texture mm -hmm. um, that is so effective, um, it, it complements the detail you get in your close-up examinations of your subjects. Um, I haven't seen that often, and uh, it is a standout. Um, was that something that just emerged over time, or was that something that you researched and, and are developing deliberately? It, it just came out, as I said earlier, you know, starting with the palette vibes, not having used them before, and this uh, technique has just developed in itself, and I feel really comfortable. It's, it's, it's a safe place for me, yes, but it feels right for me. Hmm. Um, and as time's gone through, and uh, working with the, the portraits, and, and um, even with my florals, and the more detail that I get, the closer in I'm getting, the finer I'm getting, and it's, it's constantly uh, learning. And I love the paint. I love putting wet paint on wet paint with that you do with the palette okay. and and honing it in and going in deep, with, especially around the, the the lips and the eyes and, and finding that fine detail and how good can we get it, how good can we get it and pushing it and pushing it. But the, you, you're right, the, the detail, the tactileness of it is just something that I love in, this, in these works. Many of your subjects are strong, self-aware women. Um, I'm wondering, is, is that choice of, of gender and subject deliberate or, or uh, have you attempted to portray strong, self-centered, self-aware men as well? For me, it, it is very, it is deliberate. Mm. And I do, I do women, women's portraits. Um, and I guess the story behind doing them is that I, I want to emanate what I see. When right. I look in the mirror, I want to be able to see what they are, those strong, yeah. bold um, women that don't take crap. That's, and as a woman, that's what I want to be. And I know a, a lot of other women look at I see that in you right now. Yeah, oh, sometimes she feels, I don't know, I'm not quite with it today. And, and I know when I look at these, these girls, I, I call them my girls, and when I look at them, they're like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I need some of that today. Yeah. And, and that's what they give me. That's exactly what they give me. And so, yeah, are you reflecting the popular movements in, in the growing self-awareness of of women as uh, as persons of equality and equity in this community? I, I think so, absolutely. And, and I see that and, and I see that there's a need for that with our young girls growing, growing up and I've just had a granddaughter and I think, oh, when she grows up, I want to be a... Congratulations. Thank you very much, she's beautiful. And with my own daughters, I want them to be able to... And they are strong women, but we all kind of still need that little yes. oomph. You, you see the beauty in, in all sorts of things every day, don't you? Absolutely. You know, um, yeah. is, is art therapy and, uh, and, a, and a sense of uh, personal expression for you? Most definitely. Absolutely. And I can't think of for myself anything more so. It, it, everything that I see, I mean, you look, 
look outside, you look at the beautiful blue sky, you look at the grass blades, you look at the flowers, you look at you know, anything, the beauty is around us everywhere. You look at our families and our loved ones and our friends, the beauty is there and to be able to capture that, it's, it is very thera therapeutic and I, I get itchy and I find if I don't get into the studio and if I don't pump it out, I'm just going to go nuts and God help my husband if I don't get in there because he was just like, go, go paint, go paint, I've got to go today darling, I'll see you later.